these, this is the farm people and the Duna mushroom, which is a special mushroom that they use in the Congo. It's many times paired with Iboga. These are the farming people in ritualistic garment. This is a technology. The mask is a technology. If you saw Iron Man and you see inside of the Iron Man mask where there are different things going on, he's taking phone calls, he's talking to Jarvis, lights are going through, he can manipulate things by looking at them. This is the same thing, this is where they got the technology from. The mask is a technology. The person takes the mushroom and puts on the mask. And then inside of the mask, the worlds open up, wormholes, the land of the ancestors. The, tr the universal translator where it talks to the different animals and talks to the different trees and talks to the environment. Then, National Geographic that Africa of this service for a hundred years and took pictures of things like this and said this is what the Africans are. They walk around like this. Can you imagine cooking dinner in that? Can you imagine going to the well to get water? Can you, can you imagine breastfeeding a baby in that? This was a special time. Now a breaking convention in London, I went and showed them this picture. And I said, what if National Geographic took these pictures for a hundred years and said, this is, this is the wild Englishman. You know, you see the red on their face? That's because they were eating people. <coughs> but you want to go to find out if there were any hallucinogenic compounds in England? No. The same thing in Africa, where they said that Africa was sparse in hallucinogenic compounds. It's got the same thing that they got in South America. Rainforest in Africa. As the Amazon is on fire, three times the amount of land was on fire in Africa. But they didn't say that, oh, these are the lungs of the world burning up. They said the Amazon was burning up, and that's the lungs of the world. But three times as much land was on in Africa, and they didn't even mention it. It wasn't even talked about. This is Ansar, the Lord of the Underworld. He's the Lord of the Perfect Black. And when they say underworld, they're not talking about under the ground, they're talking about the underworld, the subatomic realms of existence that are accessible through the utilization of the secret of ancient Kemet, the secret of Egypt. The secret of Egypt is that on the walls and in the papyri, which we derive the word paper from, these glyphs, ten minutes, okay, are a these glyphs are technologies, real quick. This is a technology, low doses, the characters become animate, tell you what's going on. Medium doses, they come off the wall into your environment, high doses, you go into the wall. So we got 10 minutes. This is Ansar. This is a depiction of Ansar, but his head has been knocked out. He has the crook and the flail, his arms, and he also has behind the mushroom the wings of the falcon and the stem and the cap. I show this to show the same because this is how you decode the information inside of the hieroglyphics. It's the same thing because mushrooms grow on the cow dung, the dung, and this is the sacred apis bull, the white bull of which the high priest cultivated on the cow dung, the super mushrooms from which, because they only fed the apis bull canary grass, which grew in the delta. Canary grass is a hallucinogenic itself. It has DMT, it has 5-MeO-DMT, and it also has its own monoamine oxidase inhibitor. So they fed that to the bull, and the sacred patties that it shitted out is where they cultivated the mushrooms for the high priest to be able to go into the novel states of consciousness in the multidimensional realm and bring back the information of what they saw, which created the pyramids and the sphinx and the hippo-style hall temples. So we gotta run through this real quick. That's canary grass. Um, grows all through Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, yeah. on the side of the road, or in many people's backyards. <laughs> Mushrooms on, on a, a nice cow pie. We talk about the sacred beetle. Why is the beetle sacred? Because the beetle took the dung 
And when the baby beetles came out, they ate the mushrooms. Or you ate the mushrooms, and that's why they said the beetle was sacred, because it knew that the mushrooms were inside of the dome. And this is it's supposed to be perfect ground. This beetle has probably been eating mushrooms because its, it's dumb ball isn't quite round. You know. And that's where you get the sacred beetle. You can see the mushroom glyph inside of the body of the beetle, which is the stem and the mushroom cap. Scarification, tattoos, this is the art form. It is also a science. You took your entheogen, and you gaze at the human body's auric field, and those lines were already there in light. And what the tattoo artist was, was not an innovator. The tattoo artist was a tracer. He had to trace exactly what was in the auric field. And the elders would look to see if he made any mistakes. You couldn't put on what you wanted to. You couldn't say, oh, well, put a flower on, or put mom or bob, or I like Carl, or some Chinese characters across your neck, or a feel of, you know, a feel of lilies down your thigh. It had to be exactly what was on the person, because it brought the spiritual realm into the physical realm and gave power to the person who got their particular tattoo.